In this model, we can see the vessel superior to the heart. This is a superior vena cava. It divides. This is the brachiocephalic, giving off an internal and external jugular. It continues as a subclavian, which we can't see, but extends further as an axillary. The artery is coming off the heart. This is the aorta, which divides into a brachiocephalic underneath the veins. This one's a subclavian artery, the right subclavian artery. This is the right common carotid. This is an individual branch off the arch of the aorta called the left common carotid. And this is a subclavian, the left subclavian. This would be the inferior vena cava entering the right side of the heart. Now I'm going to remove the heart. Let's take a look at what we can see. We can see pulmonary arteries and veins coming out of the lung, going into the lung, along with the airway. So this forked light blue structure is the primary bronchi, heading to the left lung and the right lung. We can see the esophagus here in green and the descending or thoracic aorta, in this case, since it's in the chest. It penetrates the diaphragm. This layer of muscle is the diaphragm. This is now called the abdominal aorta. The branches we can see off the abdominal aorta, this is a celiac trunk. This is a superior mesenteric. This is the left renal and right renal arteries. These are gonadal arteries. Here's the left gonadal artery. This is the inferior mesenteric. Here's the abdominal aorta in the human dividing into two common iliac arteries, which in the human divide again into an internal and external iliac. The external iliac penetrates the muscles of the abdominal wall, becomes the femoral artery. Let's take a look at the veins in the abdominal region. This is the inferior vena cava. You can see left and right renal veins entering the inferior vena cava. You can see a mesenteric vein entering the inferior vena cava and the iliacs, which combine to form the inferior vena 